Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Heather here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Ratty Bitty Lab, a McVitie's Biscuit type lab but with rats instead, milk and rats, yum yum uh, Anyway, this is a fun little platformer developed by Light Ape Games published by Weakfish Studios and it's usually available for £4.19 but games like this often go on sale for around £1 slash $1 do less so we play as Andrew Tate, Google him if you've no idea who he is. But anyway, Andrew here is a pure rat bag who accidentally gets electromagnetism powers, which is, well, that's what every rat wants, eh? But not those stinking ones with the big tails, you know, the chunky ones with their <laughs> Yeah, they, those give me the heebie-jeebies. Anyway, our job is to connect different boxes in order to escape 20 levels. Fun and horrific. Now as for achievements, it's as easy as completing every level and you'll get the subsequent achievements for doing so, 10 in all. Now there's only two levels that gave me a slight, slight bit of inconvenience. Level 14 and 17, but it's pretty much just like one part and it just may take a few retries and that is all. But all in all, depending on how good you are or can be, you could get this done in around 15 minutes or you're looking at around 20 to 30 minutes. It's still short, still beautiful, so let's get another 1k8. Eh? And with that being said then, let us begin. Now we're obviously going to press the A button to start, controls are simple enough, we're going to press the A button to jump, uh, ignore these boxes for now, um, but I will tell you exactly what we're going to be doing for the majority of the game. Collecting cheese, which as you can see in the top left hand corner is like a sort of magnet bar, so collect one cheese, collect this cheese. Now when you're standing on a box, any box, you can press the Y button, but if you need to shoot it, you jump with the A button and press B to shoot the cheese. Now remember, as, as you can see, the flash there, the electro in the top left corner does go down, so use your cheese uh, sparingly. And like I said, when you're on top of a box, you can press the Y button to sort of put the electromagnets into it. So that's what we're going to be doing for the majority of the game. So start off level 2, push the J, which is the jump box, over, and then you can press the A button to jump on a higher box. That's fairly obvious there. And... Obviously, these uh, first few levels are just going to be sort of tutorial levels, but I'll just explain anyway as I go. So, level three, head to the right, push this box, and uh, jump up, make sure to grab the cheese. And then jump to the right, make sure to grab cheese number two. So, jump up, hit this uh, arrow box here, again with the B button when you jump up. Jump on here, press the Y button, and that'll flip the screen. We're going to head to the left, ever so slightly, push these boxes together, jump on them. Uh, hit the white button on both boxes and that'll switch the screen back down and then we can get through a little rat hole and try and find the cheesiest of bows. Well, oh, just regular cheese. So head to the right, pick up the cheese and jump up this platform. Press the white button on top of this box, the plain box we'll just call it, the blank box. On the black box, press the white button again and that'll sort of magnetize it over. Like so. When it stops, because it does stop after a couple of seconds or so, press the white button on the blank one, jump up, and press the B button to hit the magnet box. Like I said, you get a couple of attempts here with the cheese anyway, so don't panic about that, but that should make a nice little platform. Then we can just, of course, jump up, jump up, jump up, and get down. Jump to the left, jump to the right, and finish this level all right. So from here then, level five, jump up onto the J box to the left. Press the Y button and then jump up. Hit uh, the Y button on the magnet box. That's going to magnetize them together so we can jump back down. Now we can move this jump box. So do it all the way over to the right hand side. Cool little Australian accent there. I'm so cute. Uh, jump up. Press the Y button on the magnet box again to magnetize it up. Then we can just jump up to the right. Press the Y button on this black box here. Uh, or the blank box, sorry, plain box, whatever. And anyway, that'll move. That's level 5 done. On to level 6. And immediately go to the left. Press the white button on the black box. And then jump to the right. And then make a B, uh, B button dash. That should hit the jump box. And bring that one down and like so. So now we can just push that to the right. Make a little jumpy up Rony. Grab the old cheesy nut bags right there. And we can just push it back to the left. We don't need this anymore. Uh, in fact, we do, but what we're going to do is jump up to the left, make sure to press the white button on the J box there, and then uh, shoot the black box here. And that should get the J button coming over the jump box. We'll just call it the jump box from now on. Push it down, jump a Roni, and level complete a Roni. So, level 7. Go, uh, have a look at this jump box on the left, press the white button on it. 
to electro it up. And the same on the black box here on the right to get that over. Now we can just jump up, grab the cheese, uh, jump down on this blank box, press the Y button again, jump back up, press the, uh, well, shoot the next black box. If you can, and you can do it a lot better than me, which I assume you probably can, that'll get rid of that one. Now, what we need to do is press the Y button on the bl other blank box, but if you want a little bit more time, do it this way. So jump back up, hit the black box at the top, then press the Y button on the blank box, jump down, and that's the end of that level. Again, apologies if it's going a bit quick, it is just one of those games. Anyway, head to the right, I'll push the one arrow box up, jump up, grab the cheese, and then push the blank box down. Press the Y button on top of it. And then what you can do is hit the arrow button there on the left to turn it around. Now, this is the first sort of quick time second, so go over to the right here. Hit the arrow button. Now, I'll just show you what we do. We need to hit this magnet button and then quickly sprint to the door right here. So, we're going to do that, but you've got to be quick. So, hit it, immediately jump to the right, and you've got crawl straight through, rap boy. Nice, right, level 9, jump up. Press the white button on the black box, jump back down to the left, and then just push this blank box all the way to the right. Right, right, righty-ho, making work of these achievements. Right, jumping up and press the Y button. Now we can just actually jump up on it, grab the cheese, push this blank box uh, all the way back to the left. So you need to jump up to the left, but you need to push the, this box, this magnet box here, make sure to push it into the hole on the left. Very important to do that. Then we can jump on top of it, press the Y button. You need to jump up with the top blank box, shoot it, and that should give us a nice platform. If you didn't push the magnet box down, the platform is too close and you won't be able to actually jump on it. So, just be aware. Right, level 10, jump up to the blank box and put it exactly where I do. So, exactly right there where the sort of pipe is coming down, just more towards the right of the box. Then jump to the right, grab the cheese. Go ahead, make a jump on the jump box, uh, grab the cheese from the right and then jump to the left, jump up to the middle platform, shoot the black box here on the left, BAMO, and then shoot the box on the right as well, and then what that should do is magnet itself over like an absolute magnet, babe. And if you've positioned it correctly, there we go, they should magnet themselves together, proper magneto style, and that's level 10, El Dunno. So under level 11, and it's going to be another one of those quick time section. But for now, we're going to go to the left. Push this blank box roughly around where the pipe is, sort of. Grab the two cheeses. Um, press the white button on top here to electrocute it. Then shoot the arrow box on the right. That will get us going upside down. So jump up to the left here. You have to be quick once again here. Jump up on the arrow box. Press the white button on it. Then immediately jump to the right, shoot it, and then go to the left, but keep your controller. Do not keep moving to the left, otherwise you'll fall down. So when you are safe enough, then you can just let go of the controller, and you should be fine and dandy. So level 12, jump down, shoot the black box here on the left. Jump to the right and grab El Chizo. Then we can just jump up, press the Y button here on this blank box, and that should get that floating, like a ever magneto present ghost over to the left. Uh, press the Y button on it again. And then pre uh, shoot the jump box. That should give us a little uh, jumperoni money, which it does. So make sure to shoot the left side box. And then we can press the Y button here on the right on this magnet box. That should get rid of that. And that's level 12, Comprito. So, foist things foist. Grab the cheese and then press the Y button on the black box to electrocute it. Sh uh, shoot the jump box as well. And that's going to go... Well, we can grab the cheese on the right as well, so make sure to cheese yourself up. Hit the white button on the jump box before jumping up, and then just ever so slightly move this arrow box over to the left by jumping and hitting it, and then shoot it, and that'll make it go upside down. Now you can push these boxes to the right, jumpy up to the left. Now again, it's another bit of a time section here, so, you know, be careful. Go all the way to the left and hit this arrow box. What we need to do is shoot this blank box here in the middle and then go all the way to the left corner. So hit it, jump, and then make sure to jump on the box, like now, there we go. And then we can just fly up when it's finished. Hit the white button on this other blank box, jump down, make sure to hit the white button on this arrow box. That should now uh, switch the levels and we should be good to go. But what I failed to mention earlier, sorry, is you can just restart the level. If something messes up, just restart the level and you'll be fine. So, jump to the left and hit this jump box. Jump to the right and hit this jump box. But you've got to make sure to run in the middle. 
and make sure that you've got them on your head and you've sort of pushed them up like so. If it doesn't do that, again, like I said, just restart the level, you'll be fine. Anyway, push it over to the right, grab the cheese, jump over. Now, what we need to do is actually push this black box yeah, sort of in the middle. That is fine. Hit the white button on top of it. And then uh, shoot the left projectile and then jump up and then you should have the both of them on there. That should be good. That basically just, um, in fact, it doesn't matter where the blank box goes as long as it's out the way. Pushing the jump boxes over to the left and that is the level done. So level 15, we are going to jump, um, we're going to press the Y button on the first blank box. Then jump up and press the Y button on the second, which will magnetize it slightly. Grab the cheese from the top left, jump down. Uh, push this, but don't push it all the way to the right. Push it just near this pipe right here. Jump up to this box on the left, and then very carefully just push it over the edge. Very, very carefully. There we go. So we've got enough room. Push this one sort of all the way over to the right, where the light is sort of shining through. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Jump onto this box. Press the Y button. Now make sure you are under this cover right here in between the two boxes. Then jump and shoot the left-hand side arrow. That'll get us on here. And then we can shoot this next blank box on the left, jump down, press the white button on top of the arrow boxes, and of course make sure that you are over like so, and that's 15 complete. Very short level, nice and easy, jump up. Now what you need to do, there's a little gap that you need to uh, shoot into on the right hand side. So jump up, it's sort of on the bottom, on these sort of rows, so just make sure that you've got that charged. Jump down, push this blank box all the way over to the right. And then when you do, just press the Y button on it, and that'll float you up to end this level. Now, level 17 is a bit of a... this did inconvenience me quite a bit, so I'll try and show you the best that I can. Anyway, jump to the left, hit this magnet box, and then make sure to stand on this black box so that there's a bit of a gap right there. Once it ends, push the magnet box over ever so slightly to grab El Cheesorini from the weenie. And then we can just jump up back to the left. Right. On the jump box, press the Y button on it and then jump up. Make, it doesn't matter if you push this all the way to the left, by the way. But you need to uh, press the Y button on here. Wait till it stops. Then press the Y button again and jump down. Press the Y button on the J. And keep going to the left. Keep walking to the left. Walk to the left. There we go. And then keep pushing it to the right. So it's kind of quick there, but you've got to keep pushing to the left and then push to the right. And then that is how it is exactly how it should be. Now, jump over to the... Uh, that one does take a few tries. Took me quite a few tries as well. So don't be disheartened. Um, push this box exactly sort of where I end up pushing. You've got to be quite specific with this one. We need it to be like a sort of tower, two, two block tower. So, and then we can push the jump box again. You've got to be ever so slightly specific. In the specific ocean with this one. So you've got to kind of put it more or less square in the middle. Um, now press the Y button on both of them. And what should happen is they should then make a tower. If it doesn't, what you need to do, as you can see for me, it just uh, didn't go particularly well. So I just uh, left it over to the right a little, little bit more. And then done the same thing. So press the Y button on top of the both boxes. And then it should just about do that. We need it like that because we have to push it down. If it gets stuck, just jump on the box and then push it to the right. Jump on the box, push it to the right. Jump to the box, push it on the right. And there we go. That's my opera singing gun. But now we can move on. And now we've just got a couple more easy levels left to do. And that's that. But it was the original jump box whole thing on the left-hand side of the screen, which was the more pain of the ass. So... Took me about five minutes to do that one, but uh, hopefully you get it a lot quicker. Anyway, jump up, grab the first cheese, and then grab this second cheese. Go to the right, press the Y button here on this blank box. And then we need to shoot this magnet box on the right, so do that. Again, if it could do it better than me, then you're probably awesome, and onto a winner. Leave that for now, head back to the left. And now we can uh, press the Y button on this jump box. And then we need to shoot this arrow box here on the left. And then wait till it floats up. Sklabam! Then we can go to the right, jump down, grab the cheese, of course. And then we can press the Y button on the jump box and jump back up. Hit the arrow box here on the left, and that'll switch the uh, screen so we're upside doing. Upside doing, no way. And now we can just jump up, jump up the platform, jump up the platform. There's our newly crowned platform. Now jump doing, no way. And then push this arrow box all the way to the left. 
hit the Y button on it. And then we haven't got nothing left, so we have to jump on this one as well. So hit the Y button. It's Kablamo Marge. That is level 18 done. So now we've got just two little levels left to do. Nice and easy. Right. First of all, jump up to the right. Press the Y button on the black box and then shoot the box on the left, which is another jump box. Get in the way of the middle of it, though. Uh, you, you, because you need the jump box roughly around here. As long as you've done that correctly, you should be good to go. Again, restart the level if something messes up. But uh, jump down, make sure to grab the two cheeses. The one that we just floated down. Shoot the magnum box on the left and the blank box on the right on the platform. So that will go together. And then do the same with the ones on top. So shoot the magnet on the, on the left and the blank box on the right. And then we just have to go and make a big, big walk of it again. So jumpy up, my friends. Jump on the boxes. Jump to the left-hand side. One level left. Come on. Right. What we're going to do is press the Y button on this jump box here. And then shoot the one on the left. Get in the middle of it. Make sure to get in the middle of it again. That's important. And sort of push it over to the right ever so slightly. Because we need all these three boxes getting out. Uh, press the jump... Uh, hit the white button of the jump box again. And then the next one. And then finally, to finish the game, all we need to do is hit the white button on this box right here. The one in the middle. And then jump onto the very left-hand side one here. Press the white button. That will get it going, and that is job done. Don't know where the hell I was off. I smelled a McVitty ratty biscuit. But there we go there, guys and gals. So that was McVitty Digestive Biscuits Ratty Vitty Lab. I'll still eat the biscuits, and I'll drink milk if it's made from rats. Well, I'll do anything for that bit of protein. Anyway, there we go then, guys and gals. So that was the uh, rather fun Ratty Vitty Lab. So hopefully you enjoyed the game. Hopefully you enjoyed the guide as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. And that, that is that then, guys and girls. So, I'll see you in the next one. Big love.